Hey, this is Lego Movie Man 95 and today I have built well, I bought this a couple days ago. It's uh Cuts Lego Crazy Contraptions cuz it has a ton of Technic pieces in it and stuff and I had the money. So, yeah, I bought it and I looked at all the uh uh machines that they had in there and I was like they could have done better. Like they had so many really good pieces in this and they gave not really any good machines to build. So, uh, in the back they had a do-it-yourself section, and I was like, okay, well, if you're telling me to do it myself, then why did you include everything else in here? Um, but anyways, I built this. Uh, this is a uh, Lego gun, rubber band gun. It's, um... The basic system is made out of pieces from that set. All of the, basically all of the red bricks except these two that are on the trigger uh, are not from this set. All of the gray bricks and all the gears and everything are from this set. So uh, it is very possible to make a Nerf gun from that set. Uh, I do too many of those videos. I can't believe I just said Nerf gun. Okay. Uh, it, it's very possible to make a Lego rubber band gun with materials from here. I, I actually shot it before I did any of the exterior stuff, and it works just the same. I just want to make it look cooler. So anyways, you get one of the... Okay, so basically how to make this is on the inside, you have the two large gears on the outside, uh, a 1x8 bricks on each side, to hold the gears down so that they don't move forward and then I just attached oops sorry and I just attached uh, little bars to it so the trigger would be a little bit longer um, to hold the trigger up I used two large rubber band rub, uh, rubber bands from on each side and um, this makes it much more stable there's a gear on each side too that holds down the thing it makes it so it won't misfire and it won't, um, it, it's just more stable. Um, so yeah, when you pull the trigger, it releases the gear, which will make it spin forward if there's a rubber band on it. That's basically the idea of the gun. And then there's one of the smaller gears inside. It's gray, it's hard to see. And there's the triggers connected right there. And up here, this is where you put the rubber band. I'll show you. I'm going to put the rubber band in right now. I don't know if you guys will be able to see it, but oh, what the heck? Okay, so the, the in, yeah, you can see it. Okay, in there's the rubber band. It's connected right there to the top. I'm gonna actually push this down a little bit. It's coming off. Uh, but yeah, anyways, it fires really hard. I actually shot myself in the stomach just to see if it would hurt, and it left a big welt. And it's it's not there anymore, so I can't really show you. And I don't want to shoot myself again. That'd be really stupid. Uh, well, anyways, here I'll uh. I'll do a test firing demonstration. I actually have a target right here. Okay. Um, how am I going to do this? Okay. Ooh, the little stand just came up. Well, I made this target while I'm fixing it. I made this target with just a little round circle thingy and then a red one in the middle. And then back on two of the sides. That's, ooh, that's hard to see. You put sticks and in the back right in there right there you can see it just for a little bit there uh... you put in another peg it won't stay forever it's just so it's stable so it just ends up okay how can i get okay there so basically i can shoot it and the whole thing just launches crazy uh... also i'll just do one at the camera it's it's really cool. Okay. Yeah, that actually hit right on the lens. Wow. Okay, I just lost that really big. I'll get another one. But yeah, the you small the two small rubber bands for ammo. And um yeah, this is gonna be very easy to make if you have the extra pieces to make the handle and the uh, sides great. I have this open so it's easy to reload and uh, if you don't it still works. You can make it just as easily. Um, but yeah, this is my Lego rubber van gun. Thanks for watching.